What's up, y'all? Okay. All right. Where we got? What we got? What we do? Where we doing? What we doing? Cool. What's up? Kind of crazy. How's it going, man? Friend. All right. Bear with me. Just getting a little set up here. Um. Trying to figure out if I just send a uh, new game plus. I think I got everything done. Get the black ant later. Got all the stuff. Hundred percent. Doing good. Doing good. Excited to actually be able to play. I worked all day long and uh, it was a buzzkill because I just wanted to play the whole time. <laughs> but I was able to get the uh, befriend the ants so far today. So not much, but I got my baby ants, so I'm ready for uh, New Game Plus. Alright, well, I guess I got the scabby that's in here and the toast. Epic. I'm scared. Let's do it. It's what we came here for. Some super toast. I'll go in back. And then we'll check out the mega builds and stuff. Show them off a little bit. I'll like, orient myself in the new uh, world of grounded. Here we go. New game plus. From what I've watched on other people's streams so far today, it's pretty epic. Exactly what I was hoping for. And even more because it forces you to play new game pluses. You don't get everything right away, which I love because I wanted a reason to play this game forever. Or at least a lot longer. All right, we did it. Everything's here. Get some toast. Dog hair in my mouth. <laughs> Love that. Ew, why is it starting first person? Yuck. Who actually likes first person? Not me. Can't stand it. It's way harder to view as a viewer too, I feel like. We got my little entrance. I haven't used that. Hey buddy. <laughs> Not funny. All right. Um. Wow. Feels so weird to be back at the start. I uh. When I originally played this, I started up with a buddy of mine that said he found this awesome, awesome game. And. That's that interesting. Um. Played with some friends. We didn't beat the whole game, but we beat a decent amount of it. And, uh, yeah, definitely third person's the way to go. Come here. And we beat most of it, and then my friend took over the entire thing by himself and decided he was going to beat all the bosses, so we all kind of stopped playing. And then I got super obsessed when I figured out the building was awesome. Because I was normally a uh, grounded or a subnautica mega builder loved building in subnautica i just never liked it content or anything and then this game just oh you got me all right i see oh we already got a fun thing brood mother damage well implant weakness fresh huh these are gonna be really interesting i feel like there's gonna be like endless endless amounts of Weird trinkets that we're gonna be able to build. Whoa, look at the size of that head. Honestly, I'm just glad it's not big enough to For a second there I was like, why is everything taking so many hits? And I'm like, I'm in a harder difficulty now. That would be why. <laughs> it's already throwing me off. I'm so used to play I play on medium because I make a build and I played on WoW for like five, six hundred in-game days. 
and it was fun and all, but I kind of got tired of the grind. Just getting everything with super hard enemies. I proved it. I beat all the bosses. I did beat the infected brood mother one time on woe mode, and I probably won't ever do that again because it was miserable. But uh, after the playthrough with my friends, I uh, ended up just doing a single player playthrough and saw someone build this epic base in the pagoda. Well, it wasn't really epic, but I saw the potential of what they were doing. And so I just kind of like went with it and I figured out how they built it. And then from there, I just kind of went absolutely ham. And then I did a base tour with see-through and then it's all history. Is there gonna be raw science in, in my base? Honestly, do I leave it? I think I kind of want to leave it. What else do we need? <laughs> it's horrible, but I guess I should go to the Oak Lab? Yeah. Don't mind the blueprints. I was just messing with stuff earlier. All right, I'll get this. That's going to annoy me. Let's go see what we can buy at the Burgle Station. Hi, Trudy. Where are you at? Oh, crap. She's right there. No, thank you. I didn't order any Girl Scout cookies. Uh, let me know if the jumping is ridiculous and annoying. It's kind of like an obsession. I love the movement in this game. And I can't help myself sometimes, but I'm trying to be better about it. Someone called me out in one of my videos, and they're like, you sure jump a lot. It makes it really hard to see things. <laughs> like, it's just so fun. Whoa. Launched. I'm also probably going to have to change gear. This is my uh, Wandering Wizard build. Oh. And it's great for like medium difficulty on the uh, the normal playthrough, but on New Game Plus, I have a feeling it's going to be a little more tricky. I definitely don't need any of those, but why not, right? When in Rome. I think the most fun part is I have not played this in so long. I have 1,400 days of one world that I just beat and never went back and replayed again. So this is like, feels like a brand new game almost, because it's not the same when you don't have all the story and stuff. Thanks for the helping hand. Yeah, don't mind me. Oh, Burgle. It's good you, to see you. I can I Feel free. You the, you really get started, oh, I'll die. But I am in a uh, custom game, which now I don't need and I'm kind of frustrated about, but that's life because they made the handy net in survival mode, which is, uh, you know, oops, I guess I should hold the button like it says. So now I don't, you can get handy net in survival mode, which is kind of a slap in the face because now I can't get the final achievements, but honestly, you know, that's life. I don't really care that much for a couple of achievements. Got everything else. Curious, interesting. Hello there. How can I help ask Hello Oops. There. All How right, what are we doing here? Ask away, my How can all I right, help chips, well? all right. I guess that's all that was. Assistant manager key. Isn't that just. No, that's how you get out. Um, okay. I guess we could do the pond or the hedge. I don't know. Any thoughts on which lab I should do first? Kind of, uh. Don't really care which. I can't remember them very well, anyways, so. Might be ridiculous either way. <laughs> A good time. The hedge is not horrible. Oh, I guess. Oh, no, it wants me to go to. Duh. All right, let's just do it. Wait, that's not what I thought it was. Is it not? What is that? Oh, 
Alright, well, screw it. We'll start with the hedge lab. See what happens. Oh, straight for black ant. Well, okay. Bet. Let's go take the, uh, then I can show off the sandcastle base too, which arguably is more epic than this base. I should, hmm. How do I want to do this? Do I bring... Whoa, what do I do here? Don't really care. I guess I do need to go to the Black Ant anyways, because I want to peep it. I don't really care for those. Let's get rid of all this junk. Toast, toast, toast. Interesting. Does anything even happen with toast? I don't know. I'm gonna do... Has that always been there? That's definitely not always been there. <laughs> Doing a little, uh, cleaning house. Since you can use these, I kind of want to keep just a chest of them. Got that stuff. This stuff might be harder. So let's get a better set of armor. Probably the best fighting armor in the game, in my opinion. Um, I don't want all of this junk, though. Definitely. Uh, nah. Don't need it. Keep that. It's plenty of healing. Do I want a different trinket? Probably not. I don't care. If it's hard, I can. Uh, I got stuff over any other base too. But we'll see what happens. Through the top. I'm so happy. I'm a little annoyed that. You, you have to get to new game plus two to be able to get the telepotties, but honestly, at the same time, like, I have so many zip lines set up that it couldn't be easier to get from place to place, so it's not, like, the most ridiculous. It's not that annoying. I feel like a lot of people are complaining about that, and I'm like, eh. It kind of makes sense. So, like, you have to earn it a little bit. Like, I want to be forced. I love that they're kind of, like, forcing you to go to new game pluses to get more stuff if you want to unlock the different weapons and telepotties, those sort of things, you gotta get up to like new game game three or four to get some of the other stuff and some of the weapons, so it's like it gives you a reason to at least push it a couple times, which is kind of the whole point, what's the point, if you're just gonna do one new game plus, get everything and be done, we, they might as well have just like released one new boss, fight it three times, you're over it and then you move on with your life, but it'll be interesting. Oh yeah, the uh, sandbox is blue. That's epic. This is my sandcastle base. It hasn't loaded in yet, but it will in a second. This is kind of what I've been working on the most as of late. Took a hiatus from making YouTube videos and stuff, but just kind of grinding materials and getting ready for the uh, new game plus and 1.4 to come out. So I've just been having fun fixing things up, coming with up, up with different ideas for this base pretty crazy <laughs> I uh, I've had a lot of fun with this one like a lot of fun this base is so fun it just started off as like a big box like three tier tiered cake and then I slowly just kind of added in all the details I'll show some up close stuff I just built this sort of like church sort of thing so if you're curious. This is roughly based off of uh, Game of Thrones, King the King's Landing, just in the idea of like the different building types. I mean, I can't just I'm not literally rebuilding it, but I'm using it as a reference of like the different things. So like, there's a castle in the middle, all the stuff that's built off. I built sort of a wizard tower. Then there's just like a little church. I haven't finished this yet, but just getting to the lighting and stuff. I might do a speed build YouTube video for this, but I'm not sure yet. I have a lot of just footage of me doing it, but it's kind of boring. 
So I don't really know how to spice it up, make interesting build videos. I also have a build video I'm working on this. This is the Wizard's Tower, which I am so happy with. I think this turned out so sick. Something a buddy, uh, Twitch streamer, AJL buddy, uh, showed me this little window hack. Like, I think those look pretty cool. The columns, the ash cement and stuff, the lighting is so over the top or on the whole thing. <laughs> and then just a little, like, ritual altar for the uh, the wizards and since i like main a wizard build it's kind of my uh way to go i enjoy it a lot and i got a ton of random details on this the uh grounded devs when i was on casually grounded a couple months back were like totally blown away by this so all the hard work getting getting showed off in the casually grounded uh wednesday stream was epic super happy with that i'm just working on the city right now building everything out i think there's going to be like a i can't decide if it's a market or like a high city district so like nicer houses sort of city square plaza there i'm going to build a ton of housing and stuff all throughout there the cathedral sort of thing is going to go there which i'll probably work on next most likely and probably more housing over there or something i don't totally know and then i'm roughed out this it's hard to tell with just blueprints, but I think this will be pretty epic, and it'll be like a, a bathhouse or something, just because it's got water, and you can kind of show the water through. So, I don't know. Oasis sort of place. This base has been fun. I build a lot of stuff kind of uniquely. There's only like a handful of builders that even know how to do it properly, but a lot of this is built on different grids. So, like everything the castle and everything all of that is built on this same grid all of this stuff same grid this too um but then the wall that goes around the entire base is its own complete entity and that's why these stairs can block into this and sort of clip in and so i've just been messing with different ways to clip materials which takes a little bit of getting used to but honestly allows you to do a lot of really fun interesting stuff we can go up to the top real fast too. Made this kind of interesting staircase because I didn't want to just do standard stairs. There's a YouTube video of me building this out too. Um, this is not done yet. There's going to be like bug mounts and stuff through here and be sort of a museum or something. Don't know totally. And acorn stairs were the only way it works. I hate them, but they work. And then this weird chandelier thing that I built. Not sure what that is totally, but it was fun ish to build uh, go this way oh, what a catch I bet there's treasure there. oh oh they took away the ghost too dang it oh they didn't take it away I confirmed with them that of course it's like down in there I have so much stuff oh my gosh there's gonna be so many weird interactions with my bases and all these like raw science and stuff it's like it's like in somewhere inside the walls <laughs> and now that I don't have the handy nat ghost mode I can't really work on it I just heard a black ox beetle that's scary <laughs> uh, this is just sort of a little workshop I've built out I'm gonna put w one chest with every single item in the game I don't even know if this is enough chests it's probably not um, but I'm just messing with that recently oh that raw science is gonna drive me nuts okay i'll have to get down there at some point we can go this way best part about having all these builds is that it makes like getting around everything so much easier and i know some people will probably ask or be wondering uh the antlions really aren't that annoying um in the base i guess i could show that off in a little um they actually hide in like under the flooring Whoa. okay that was weird i'm gonna burn i could have bought brought i actually had the other armor i don't know why we're going inside it doesn't really matter i swear i heard a black ox beetle somewhere though that kind of sketches me out oh raw science oh you have to find these I've again. So Interesting. 
Those are horrible. Hmm. Everyone was complaining about not having enough uh, science, but if you just have a lot of science, you're good to go. That does sound epic. Hmm. But I still need a lot more science today. <laughs> I kind of want this. But since I don't have any of that, it doesn't really matter. No reason to waste it. Oh, you can't do more? Dang. The grounded uh, Discord is a trolling mess right now. Everyone thinks they know everything, and none of them know anything. Literally, they're all off on like 90% of what they're all saying. <laughs> so I've just been keeping an eye on it all day, wondering what's going on. Wait a second. That's not what I was expecting. Oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, this is the, uh, oh, this is one of the Easter eggs. Let's go. Ha! I was wondering. So there's also an Easter event um, that's going on. And you can get like a lucky leprechaun hat or something. And I guess those are the Easter eggs. I thought they were something totally different. But that's cool. Normally a uh, food spawns there, so that's interesting. I wouldn't even have thought of that because I roped it off to make it look like an exhibit or something. <laughs> All right. I guess the bad part here is that... I do not have a one-handed weapon that I can use my torch with, but I guess it lights up further down. We'll be fine. Blackheads here, blackheads there, blackheads get everywhere. So that goes to the bases. That I can go from up here. Do I need to do that? How's that gonna work? Legit. Might as well. I'm going to be upgrading a lot of stuff. This definitely gives me a reason to upgrade all the weapons in the game to max level. Especially because they all get new attributes and stuff, which is really cool. I'm interested to see what some of those are as I uh, get further into the game. And I have so much random junk saved away. I don't have to like hold on to any random bug stuff, rug bug parts, which is great. Really does feel I have not played the story in so long. It's definitely gonna be interesting. <laughs> Watched a couple people play, so I have a rough idea of remembering what this stuff is, but... Oh, oh hello. Oh, come on. I thought you were supposed to be difficult. Easy. And they're weak to sour, and I have this. Where's the cool stuff? Uh, that's going to drop me down. Sure. Pretty sure, cause I'm fast. Yep, I can just do that now. <laughs> That's pretty broken. This is gonna make so I have so many broken, easy zip lines to get past some of this stuff. This is gonna make a lot of this stuff super easy. I love it. The hard work is finally worth it. Everyone thought I was crazy for building all this stuff. <laughs> Probably I'm a little crazy. That's okay. I'm alright with that. I don't remember what's down here. I need to remember to find I have no clue where it is but I need to remember to find the uh, black ant thingamabobber good, good use of your words there the new recipe I don't want any of these what am I doing 
I got all this junk already. Yeah, I don't need any of this. I will always take feathers. The chocolate is for something special. They're not horrible, I guess. I have stacks of those. Definitely don't need those. And honestly, do I need that? I don't know. I'll hold on to it for now. Ooh, okay. This weapon is so good. Pretty sure you can't get the fresh edge until the uh, next playthrough. Yeah, New Game Plus 2, I believe. Which is going to be busted against the Infected Broodmother. Like, that's going to make it so much easier. Although I've watched a couple people fight her and it doesn't look fun. I have not seen one single um, infused bug yet. Interesting. I just haven't tried looking that hard, but... I would have assumed that I would have seen a couple already. It's kind of weird. Okay, came out there this way. I don't remember. I can't remember the last time I came into this frickin' base. This lab. I definitely came here already. the way. Oh, another one. Cool. I feel like I should remember what was behind this, but no clue. What the heck is that? Has this been here forever? Probably. I vaguely remember this for some reason. What the heck is it for? Nothing? What are you? Must have been a milk molar or something back here, back in the day, or, or. Just clay. All right, just clay. <laughs> Nothing of importance. This is the water, right? Am I crazy? I'm just crazy. Oh, this is duh. It's just better. Fire burn, baby burn. What do I have for mutations? Yeah, that's all good. I don't know infused bugs. Like, where are they? Do I get to automatically go in there? Oh. Alright, before I do that. That's kind of scary. Let's try to find the... I need to get back to the Black Ant Queen. Keep that thing. Okay, this is the way I want to go. Hello, Miss Ant Queen.
What? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. I don't know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> Okay. I'm not going crazy. I don't know why those are just laying around like that. It's weird. I forgot how freaking big this freaking area is. Jeez. Massive. that they'd give more experience or uh science what's new anything anything at all i think it's just the chocolate yeah i think there was one more but i'm too lazy to go scrolling i know there's Something somewhere around here. Oh. Been there? Probably should be more thorough. That way I don't have to come back. <laughs> but I guess I'll have to keep coming back since it's 90% of the point. Oh, there we go. That's what I was wanting. Cool. We did it. Okay, where the... It, down here, isn't it? Am I crazy? I swear it's, it's just here, follow the lights. Get so many upgrades. Ooh, Ooh piece of candy. It's literally what this game felt like. Now I'm, I'm remembering so much. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Just distracted perpetually. My ADHD really shines. Where are the stinking... Where's the black ant queen? Why am I so lost? I came down here literally hours ago to do this exact thing. To find the black ant queen. And I'm like, I cannot find her for the life of me. Am I that dumb? Have I ran past the entrance like six times? Big old clay. This smells gross. This is and definitely I not where I want to go. Dang it! Where am I going? On this episode of Timber Builds, let's get lost in the Black Ant Lab for six hours, cause I'm a moron and I can't. I am literally the most directionally challenged person on Earth. Sometimes, man. We've done that. We went that way. We did that thing. Yeah, if anyone watching uh, has questions and stuff, please feel free to ask. Definitely here to help. Very happy to help whenever I can. That's to the assistant manager, and we don't want anything to do with that right at this moment. I've crushed so many of you, I can't even count them all. No, no. Leave me alone. Nobody wants you. Right? You're telling me. I'm lost. Like, I actually, I was here two, three hours ago. And I'm like, so lost right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. This is all the way to the entrance. I I just feel 
Help me out, Anonymous. Where where am I lost at? <laughs> I feel like I've gone down every path, and it was not this hard to find earlier today. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, the comment on the YouTube video earlier, also, Anonymous. Definitely helps the videos out, so I appreciate it. Dude, I swore I just ran down and followed the stinking lights. Am I crazy? That's what I did earlier, and I found it right away. Like, I've run through these things like 10 times. That goes to the garbage heap. Got to be going mad, man. Nothing in here. Stop bringing me back here, game. <laughs> Let's see. I could have sworn it was like right there or something, but I'm just an idiot. No, thank you. I appreciate the uh, kindness. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Is this new? Have I gone down here? It all looks the same. I think that's the. Oh! Oh ho ho! We did it! We did it. Good work, Anonymous. I'm giving you all the credit there. Um, Gonna have a look Got a new one. I guess I need the... Uh, oh. I guess all I have is the thing, but I peeped it. That's all I really wanted to do. The question is, do I have the skills to kill the assistant manager? Because I didn't really prepare for that all that well. But he's weak to sour. And I got a really good armor set on, right? So. I gotta think we can utterly destroy him. Hey. I don't even have a weapon out. Leave me alone. Honestly, though, where are the infused bugs? I have not seen a single one yet. Since I spawned in a new game plus. That seems crazy to me. Can black ants not be anything special? Now we have to find the assistant manager. Again. There we go. Do 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 do. Let's get destroyed by the assistant manager. Do I even have to beat? I assume I, I'm assuming the chip's in there, right? Is that where it is? I think so. And I already did that, so I just have to blow it up. Alright, let's put on better armor so we get healing. Um, not that. Cardio fan. Chopper. Chopper. Yep. Good. Good. Do I want? Damage reflect. I almost want to go. Um, why am I struggling to find it so bad? Am I crazy? Because I already have it on. I'm an idiot. That's why. But it may be ridiculous, but I am also ridiculous. Let's save. I also love this because I mega build, even though I have the limit turned off, it uh, just tells me that I'm a moron and I have too many things built every on every single save. You gotta love that. Let's go. Wow, the TST has a lot of health. Okay. 
no. I think that's what's gonna be OP about this, though, is this, every time I kill a Taste T, I get a massive amount of healing. So, we'll see what happens. Don't forget the animation game. Oh my goodness. This is nuts. Holy cow. Yep, I remember this fight. Now, this is horrific. Easy. Yeah, Widow Armor is just so overpowered with anything with adds. Bring it. I'm not afraid of you. I probably should be. Come on, assistant. We got this all day. This is medium, though, so I will say, uh, if this was well, I'd probably get it destroyed. But I just have no interest in playing well. I beat the entire game on well already once, and I'm just, uh, kind of over. I don't need that grind in my life. I just want to get to the point where I have all the stuff and I can build. Gosh, we're just so good. Is he the best? Probably not, but he's pretty good. Yeah, I might um, at one point do like a woe one, but for this first one, I kind of want to just like roll and get some of this stuff going. I cried a little bit, I think, the first time I had to fight him. <laughs> I was playing with a couple so buddies, and we got absolutely wrecked. My friends were so bad at the game, was part of it. So that didn't help whatsoever. Ooh, I do have to redo those. Interesting. Do you get anything cooler? Is it just that raw science? Oh, you get one of the new chests. That's probably worth it. <laughs> Not sure how much I want to like. Hey, have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by for a little. I should be streaming more often now that the update's out, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do as many YouTube videos, but I'm hoping to do a lot of live streams and just build and have fun, so... Keep an eye out, there should be more streams. But sleep good. All right, we did it kind of crazy. Good call on the uh, Black Ant Lab. Killed it. I remember to get these milk molars and stuff too. That honestly was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting to struggle more, but maybe I just maybe I do need to switch it to woe cuz that was like epically easy. Oh no, and the haze is on. Oh, I have gum though. Screw it, face tank the whole thing. Yeah, definitely check out the uh, the Discord. Uh, I'm on it all pretty much all day. I work from home, so I'm able to kind of sit on it and talk to people. I've helped a couple people rebuild my Pagoda base just off of like images and stuff. So it's definitely an awesome place, and I'd love to make it like a place where people come to talk about builds and all sorts of stuff all the time. It'd be super fun to get a nice community of people together working on that. Chatting all the time. So yeah, definitely check it out. I'm always there to talk, talk, and I'm always down to help with build ideas and give uh, feedback. I mean, just like in the comment, I got a lot of random tips and tricks from 1900 something hours in Grounded of building. So I definitely am here to help. One chip down already. Wow. Killing it. Speed runner. 
I mean, I do really, I do really want to get to New Game Plus 2 kind of as fast as possible, because that's where, like, the majority of the extra weapons and then the teleparties are, and I really want to do a teleparty, telepotty base on my Pagoda base. I already have some ideas of how I want to do it, and I think it's going to look epic. Should be a good time. I wish they would turn the lighting rendering distance, or at least allow me to turn it up. I don't really care if I can turn it down, but the whole base looks so much more epic when the lights are showing. And now that I film with the handy nat a lot, it kind of ruins it. Day one, beat the black ant lab. Good job, let's go. Epic. This is fun. I've been wanting to do a new playthrough of this game for so long, but I just couldn't bring myself to start a new world with all the effort I put into these base builds. So like, this is the best thing in the world. I'm, in, I'm loving this. Dude, I want all this stuff. Oh, I got one whole infused ooze. Wow. Ah. Uh, interesting. Now I'm gonna have to dupe all those again. I spent a while duping every single trinket in the game. It took me ages and a lot of raw science. It was really dumb, but I just wanted to have two just in case I ever lost one. And now they added more trinkets, so I gotta do it all over again. This is probably the main... Oh, dude, the tree looks epic. I love that. And the house is red, right? What else changed? The bike tires, I can see, are a different color. Of course, the sandbox. But I noticed that already. Um, Moldor, Snow, the can, that's the same. Nice, nice. Not a ton of changes yet, but maybe we'll see them when we're in a on the ground but like this is like half of my day man I just sit on these stupid zip lines it's more convenient than running but at the same time it is so slow because I didn't build this one high enough <laughs> my other one goes a lot faster to get back over but once I have a telepotty base it's just gonna be easy I don't even have to think about it oh, I gotta blow that up that goes back that means I probably have to do the thing over there that bike is green that's new that definitely had red tires. I think that was always blue. What else is there? Oh, I gotta go to all the science stations, right? I could have sworn earlier. Oh, it's the remixer, duh. Okay. So there was. Ah, the super tech ships. Sip. Chips. Good talking. English is hard. Oh, it's been a long day. But this is exactly what I needed. This is fun. If at any point I get up and leave, um, my son is asleep downstairs and he's been teething, so it's been a good time. Rough couple nights. So if he wakes up, I have to go put him back to sleep. But I'll be streaming for a while, I think. Is it worth... What? A moth there? That's epic. <laughs> I love that. I love that they made bugs in different places. That's awesome. That's such a good little change. And I love the tree. It looks way cooler with the green leaves instead of like the fall dead leaves. House needs another paint job, though. It's not very good. I saw someone redoing the burgle. Ouch. Thanks, but that looks like it's done, right? Yeah, that's done. Huh. Maybe there's new ones. I wouldn't complain about some new ones. Do, 
epic. I'm so glad. I was like panicking going into New Game Plus too, because I'm just like, I'd be the person that like loses half their world or some crap and <laughs> just cry myself to sleep. How did I? What? Where the? Why did that say? That was weird. I could have sworn that said. Get out of here. That's so funny. I forgot that that stuff's like in this base. This is so weird playing on this. I love it. Hey, you have a good night too. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a bit. Fusion crystal, all right. So much crap. Okay, that stuff goes here, there, no, there. Oh, okay, it's all separated. I'm an idiot. Where are those all? Where did all those deposit? What the heck? Am I crazy? What the heck? What? I'm so confused. Do I have chests with that stuff in it? I had a bunch of attack upgrades, but okay. Screw me then, right? Definitely don't want that. these, but then I'll keep them. Keep the armor from bosses. I'll eat that later. Do, 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 do. Gotta decide what things to buy to. Because I do not have enough. Is something burrowing under there? I did not farm enough raw science. I should have done what the crazy dude with three million raw science did. Just farmed widows the last month. <laughs> I never have to think Always about happy. it. How can I help you? Huh. You made it back in one piece. Huh. How unexpected. You are more resourceful than I thought. Well, I try to be. And we can see what data Dr. Tully backed up upon it. Processing. Oh, the Black Ant Lab Super Chip. How on earth did you make... Ah. Mm. I am feeling much more like myself. Take it from... Of course. The feelings enhance my cooking and... Now, what is it you were wanting to know? There are four labs throughout the yard. Each the with hate, a super chip. Now, the somehow haze. you have... Yeah. I will mark the location. Please find that. Oh, before you leave. Check out the new recipes in the ASL Terminal Science Shop. That could, thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh. I also have a bird. And she's screaming at me. Even though she's supposed to be asleep. You expanded the science shop. Dope. Need to repair my armor. Did I re even repair that? Okay, I did. Right one too. Let's go. I need to get the ant. I did get the one, the poison for the black ant. So can I make that? Poison gum sandwich. Infected gum sandwich. Oh, I got both of them. Oh. I see. So I need to go. Candy dispenser, what is that? Oh, there's a lot more than I thought there was gonna be. Huh. I just kind of expected a few, but nice. That's actually quite a few.
Stump lab. So you mean you pretty much have to okay, you just have to go get all of the uh chippies. Interesting. I might as well if I go where's the red lamp? It was in the Haze lab or something, I think. Cause I'm definitely poisoning these suckers. I want some parts. So I can build cool things. I'm gonna just put all the new cool interesting stuff here while I'm messing with it. So I don't have to think about it. I was gonna do things. Yeah, this. Two. I want health. Honestly though, stamina? Epic. Alright, we gotta do that. That just makes sense. I want those. But it's a waste right now. I want that, but that's a waste right now. The Wallapino would be really good against the Brood Mother. So there's something to be said about that. I would much prefer this. But unfortunately, you have to be in two. Which is a bummer, but I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. The Pickle Ball. Freaking love this. Oh, I'm so excited. These are so cool. Science rugs that can only get one? Ugh. Enemy a chill, but it doesn't give you the attack boost, speed boost. So I don't really want it. But frick, this thing is so epic. I might have. I think I gotta do. I gotta do that. I couldn't I can't help myself. I think I should save my science for the rest, though. Where's this smithing? Aha! So, D duper jelly, which I'm pretty sure you get from the deduping those, but I need a lot more for that to make any sense. I don't want to waste something that is really good and I don't think it is and be dumb so I guess let's just go fight some infused bugs and see if we can actually find some because I've only fought the assistant manager right now and nothing else has been infused which seems really stupid so let's get some ooze and have some fun let's explore I need to do like music or something for the background. I just find myself humming children's songs. There's a sucker. Let's, see what's around here. Let's kill him. Saying, but that like these, I can tell why they made these. The uh, two. New game plus two because this in every Type. Like, I'm just gonna have all the types of these. Like, they're so good. I love two-handed weapons. That and the fact that this one attacks fast is just makes it so good. This attack speed boost is ridiculous. They even nerfed it, and it still feels super good. Oh well, don't mind if I do. Wait a second. Did they block this? What the heck? They did. No, they. Did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just making stuff up now. Sorry. Excuse me. Mosquitoes. I'm honestly surprised there's not more infused bugs. It's kind of weird. Maybe they spawn more in each new game plus. But I have like no need. I have so many of every single item in the game. I like I don't need to farm any more bugs for until I'm at the point where I want to fill chests and chests of them. But I don't have any desire to do that right now. Where is it at? Cola cane. And it's night. It is. Dang it. I should have stayed at home and slept. 
where are the infected bugs? They're not even infected, they're infused. Get it right. Alright, we can get that. Like, I hadn't come to this place for so long. When I first started playing, this wasn't a thing. And I noticed it a month or two ago. And I'm like, you used to have to run up this stupid stick, and it was the most annoying little stick to run up. Yo, but like, where the bugs? That was a waste. Whatever. I just want to fight infused bugs so I can get a yoked station. There are none, though. What the heck, man? It's going to be a tough time. I will fight any infected bug. I don't even care. Infused. I'd have to make it infused and infected. Now I'm just going to interchange the two and sound like an idiot all the time. If you're not infused, I'm not fighting you. All I want is infused bugs. You all live like another day. Well, there we go. Alright, spicy stats are not as good against them anymore. It's fine against the non infused ones, I guess. Oh. Holy, 3,000? Okay, now I understand why there's not as many spawning. I didn't realize you got that much science for them. That's crazy. Dude, I can't believe Jade was complaining about the fact that, like, he's like, he just didn't farm enough science and he was complaining earlier. I'm like, bro. You do this for a living. How did you not collect enough science? And then all you have to do is fight these suckers and you literally get a million. I just got 9,000 raw science. What? That's crazy. Um, do I have... Stealing... Dissection loot luck? Yeah. I'm not sure if that does anything for the loot luck, but... Yeah. Jake was also hating on my build. Not me specifically, but he was hating on the fact that people use this um, wizard stuff. And I'm like, it's so good. Paralyzer was doing it too. So. They just don't know the secret tech. The wandering wizard, maybe not in low, but in everything else, it's just amazing. Whoa, we didn't do it! Ah! Coming with you. Oh, My shoes broke. Oh, I got three of them. Life steal? That's epic. Black widow damage. Is that damage to the widow? Oh lordy. This thing's still really good against non-infused bugs. Ooh! <laughs> the stinking spiderlings got frickin' bombs. Oh, that's definitely not what I want. Did it? Oh no. They still all die in one hit. Though. It's like the best crowd control weapon in the game. It's so easy. All the small adds are so easy to kill. With. What do you have, little bud? Stop hiding in your family's dead bodies.
Can I find an infused grub? Is that a thing? They weren't infused. That's the wrong hot fix. <laughs> I feel like such a noob. Now you like me now, or weird. You shall die. So I'll just charge attack him and kill him in one shot. And then I kill the baby. Don't hide in your dare bed. Oh jeez, there's two. Harder to see what the heck they're attacking. Never haven't ever had to fight them really. <laughs> yes, we get it. Take out the weapon. Thank you. That's so much gum, but like I'm here. As I always tell myself, collect everything. Probably should keep an ant buddy with me now that they have all this uh, storage. Honestly, that'd be a really good idea. And they can't die, so I might have to do that. It's not a bomb, is it? No. Are you even scared of the Haze Lab? Probably not. If the assistant manager was that easy, honestly, I'm not that scared. What I am sad is that I destroyed all of my stinking freaking defenses. I'm such a doofus. I did that ages ago. He's gay. Oh, that is really disappointing, though. I destroyed all my... <laughs> other than the final one. I destroyed all the mixer defenses I had. Not that I really need them, but well, you never know with all the explosive crap. That looks gnarly. No, I changed water. Haze lab it is. Let's go. Haze it up. So there is a uh, good thing here. Don't care. Sure. I can toss all that garbage. These guys are all weak to fresh. Super kill. Not doing a very good job protecting your base by staring at the wall. Doofus. Now, what's this way? What the? Go away! I don't want any no! The burn too strong. a lot. Not enough of them are infected though. Or infused. God, I can't f say that right. Wasn't there something... Is that a different lab? Maybe? One of the labs you could get up here and there was cool stuff hidden behind. This is not one of those places. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, this is where in the tube, I believe somewhere there's a 
Aha! What genius! Let's go. That was easy. Killing it. Gotta go the other way. Definitely more of those though. In here than I feel like there used to be. Now another one to die! No, please. Ow. I already have the infected fungal charm. So like, is there any reason for this? I have so many of them. But like, if I got it randomly, would I be upset? Not at all. Poison mushroom. Oh, they're like all right here. Oh, this is so easy. Now we go back again. And again. And again. I don't have a good fresh weapon for the infected infused ladybug. But this thing's pretty good. Busted. Yeah, this, okay, never mind. I'm dead. Um, cool. <laughs> oh, I remember. I used to hate this stinking spawn. That's one of the new candies, isn't it? I don't think it changes anything. I feel like they hyped this up to like. It's different, and it was just the same. That is one thing I was kind of like, I thought they were going to be totally different. Yeah, I want the fresh edge. It's way better than this. Hey, you know, guys, you know, we're over this. We don't need that. Oh my gosh. Dude, they just keep coming. There's like 50 of them. I don't have the patience to use the frost staff anymore now that they changed it. Yeah, those are salted cream. Same crap. Dang. Wow, I'm amazed. That ladybug killed me so fast. I don't have my fungal charm with me. If I would have just found one, actually, that probably would have saved my life. I should have tried looking for it harder. Let's eat this. I want to kill the ladybug. She made me mad. So turned around. So quickly. What if I just cheese her with this? Is that busted? I had the whole build. Fight bombs with bombs, baby. How you like me now? Oh, jeez. There's a lot of things done. Oh, that's not bad. This is actually kind of good. As long as I don't hit myself. Oh, jeez. You're not the only one who can throw bombs, baby. I'm not doing much damage, but I'm not dying. So that's something, I think. I just don't like that you're chasing me. Like, can you take the chill pill? I'd like to kill this mite before he kills me. Oh, lordy lordy. Mama! Okay, I should put on my other armor, honestly. <laughs> I'm trolling. That's totally the wrong mutation. Oh my god, dude. I'm so I hate the slow when you're fighting without all my stuff. That's half the reason I use the brick. Load my save. I will do this all night if I have.
I suck. It's kind of weird that the assistant manager was easier for me than <laughs> the infected ladybug. But honestly, explosions are the dumbest thing in the game. So it kind of makes sense. I wonder if I can mess her up with this. I didn't get an infect an infused infected knight this time. Eat my frost. Okay. We'll play more patient. And I have no patience, so it's always a little difficult. See, as long as you don't die the explosions, this is easy. She can't even get me. I can slow with you. Ah! I just need to use better weapons. I think the, uh... Oh, no. Let's go. Woo. And oh, I had the right thing on, too. And I still didn't get any. Oh, I have ten. I guess that's not bad. They always get me with the hold. Alright, so the technique is always the wizard build. Oh, well that's just... You know, I just repaired these, you guys. That's not very nice. We learned this lesson. Use what they're weak against. Because it's just better. I'm just built different. I got the chip, got... Bombs. Those are so worthless because I've got this. Blow your bombs up any day. There's a chippy. Got the infected and poisoned, right? Uh, I can't wait to look at that at the crafting station. Dang. Is that it? Am I crazy, or does this lab seem really short? I mean, I'm practically speedrunning this game right now, but... I just want to get back to Mega Building, but I want to get all this stuff. Gotta get further in the game a little bit. You say that there's a milk molar, but I do not see it. I always am so particular. Did I not farm that already? Literally, there was one right next to it. Okay. <laughs> they are so random. That's funny. Milk molar. Let's go. Switch here. Still got the pond and the hedge, which at this point I think are going to be a joke. I don't know. Maybe I should play in WoW. I don't know. I can't decide. I Do I care enough to play in WoW? Does anyone in chat have an opinion on playing in WoW versus medium? I prefer medium when I'm just building, but I'm not really building right now. So do people want to see more of a challenge? Don't know. The world may never know. <laughs> this is why telepotties would be so much better, though. Honestly, I want to get the new game plus two and speed run to that. Maybe I play WoW mode from new game plus two on, and I just speed run new game plus one just to get it done with so I can get to the next stuff because that's where all the weapons I want are the telepotties are there it seems like the right move oh I didn't notice that the wheelbarrow is yellow now oh, there's the signs don't feel like parkouring right now in the dark moth. so far all I've seen is a moth and a black ox beetle that were out of position 
I wish I could see the infused bugs from up here so I could just rain the hell on them. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I guess I should just talk to Purple. It's on the way home. It's past my bedtime. It's one in the morning. I gotta explore under here too, now that I think about it. I forgot there's a bunch of stuff in here. I found a chip. Jingle jangle jungle. I forgot how much he talked. Yeah, well, totally. I'm definitely listening. I heard that freaking spider too. Um, <laughs> why would I dedupe that? What is this? Sizzle immunity? That's really interesting. I'm 100% keeping that. I think the lifesteal is interesting. Gas guard? Do I need that? No. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Will I regret that? Maybe. But I'll get him eventually, right? I like the sizzle immunity, though. That's really cool. Since I build in the sandbox, that's seems really useful like really useful and get stuck and I'm just gonna destroy him. Is he supposed to be down here? I don't think this one's supposed to be inside the tree. Get cheesed on complete accident. Ooh, what's down there? Am I gonna regret this? Should I put Mertine on? Probably. This is deep. I don't remember what this is, and that might be really dumb of me. Yeah, like, that's cool, a milk molar, but, like, is that it? Oh, shit. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Swim, Max, swim. And for anyone wondering why I play Max, because I feel like a lot of people say he's annoying. Um, one of the voice lines reminds me of my brother, and I think it's the funniest thing in the world. Just the way he says it. And just for that reason, I have to. I have to use him. I just think it's too funny. If only chemistry class was this easy. Yeah, give me the shards. Keep them coming. Dude, where did those... Am I not getting those? Dude, that's what I'm saying. I keep picking up the quartzite ones and they don't go any... They just disappear. I swear I picked up so many of them. What? Is anyone else even here? Am I crazy? I swear that I picked up like a hundred quartzite ones. The marble ones are working fine. That is such a weird glitch. I want to find some more. Let me test this. But naturally, I probably collected all the ones. In here. Come on. Where are you off to, Ant? Oh. Well. Let's try this. Kill the ads. destroy you. 
Oh, this is going to be such a good weapon when I get all the different types. I'm honestly just going to use the battle axes, like, hands down. Ant Annihilator. Oh, nice. I had a quest. And I beat it like it was nothing. You're not even, like, scary anymore. I mean, you are, but, like, you're not. Alright, this is the test right here. Brittle Quartzite Shard. Am I crazy? Is that not? Okay, so I am getting the Brittle Quartzite. I swear earlier, though, I was... Earlier I did it, and it didn't work. I don't understand. Because all the ones in my base when I deposited just disappeared. And I definitely don't have a chest of those randomly around. I've used every single one of them. Guaranteed. Okay. Brittle Quartzite Shard deposited. Where, though? Where do I have brittle quartzite shards? Am I crazy? Why are they depositing into this one? That's for the marble. What? How confusing. I don't know why that happened. I'm super interested. These new trinkets seem so cool. Might have to use that against the uh, brood mother when I go. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, just kill the mantis like like it's nothing, right? What the heck, man? What are those? Do? Burgle vision? I don't want to spend 50k on this. Is that ridiculous? I mean, I'm gonna do it, but like Am I going to do it? <laughs> it seems very dumb. What the heck is Burgle Vision? I'm going to regret spending 50 grand on this when I could make an actually cool weapon. <laughs> right? I have, like, ugh. Like, the Wallapino seems really smart to build. And I have everything. Screw it. I'm doing that. I can't, br can't bring myself to do it any other way. Mint jewel? Spicy jewel. I thought I had those. Do I just have the... I have one spicy jewel. All right. Well, you know, that's how it works, right? There's two, right? Spicy jewel, mint jewel. And this is going to give me a way better frost weapon, which I think is the way to go. And I want a spicy weapon, because the staff's not good against the infused ones. At all. Really good against normal bugs still. Still a good build, but... And the war against the crazy ones. Wow, I just need three more of those. So I've just got to kill a couple more bugs. That's honestly not even that hard. What is this tenderfoot offense? Like, what? I wonder if those are, like, randomly generated also. Interesting. Don't really know. Couldn't say. How long are these going to take? Oh, I have the other ones too, don't I? So I have to go to the fire ant hill to get the last two. And then I'm going to poison... I think on this playthrough I'm going to poison them, and then the next one I'll do infuse, but that doesn't mean I... Kind of a bummer, because I don't really get, like, the effect until the, like, what, level four? Right? If I'm correct? That's a long freaking time. Do I have that kind of patience? I don't know if I do. 
Like, what else am I going to do with it, realistically? Where'd the mint jokes go? What? Did I? Oh, I put it in this one. Okay, goofball. D duper jelly, and I gotta beat the brood mother. I kinda wanna save the brood mother for last. But I'm gonna need more D duper jelly, because I used that out like an idiot. Dang it. Okay, I guess I'll just go fight more infected bugs. Sounds like the plan. I want some weapons. I've been grinding upgrade material. I have so much of it. It's like, why wouldn't I get all these weapons? And all these things get new effects, as far as I understand, uh, when they go full mighty, which is interesting. Tastes good. Meals on wheels. Is that where did all the flower petals go? I'm gonna have some, but not infused I don't want to fight you you mean nothing to me I just want infused things I may have to get the burgle vision next just because doesn't that sound epic I feel like it does Just uh, checking some comments, sorry. There's one. Like, this thing is gonna be horrible. I need an actual weapon. This, I have not, oh my lord, he's a, he's a spicy boy. I'm too young to fight 40 of you, please no. All right, now I'll take one. No, you can't run now. Wuss. Even though that's what I was just doing. Running like a wuss. Huh. Wonder if that is on the next. Level? Seems like it. Too far away. Can't be bothered. I wonder if I have a higher percentage chance of getting infused bugs. With all the spiderlings in the hedge lab, just because there's so many of them, it's gotta increase the odds, right? Because I am not... I need some... D-duper material. D-duper ooze. I definitely already came to this. Is this gonna be a glitch this whole time too? <laughs> I still have a science station that doesn't say, that doesn't stop making that stupid noise. Yes, see I'm here. I have done it. Apparently not though. And like, I had beaten the haze and never had to come back when they, and then they added all the lighting. And I'm like, when I first did it, it was pitch black. You could see literally nothing. It was like the worst experience. This is awesome! It's a good thing I remember a lot of this though. Not the hardest one. Where do you wanna go? Yeah, son. Give me your science. There we go. That's something that's useful. That's kind of how I was wondering. I mean, I guess it's like the stuff's already on. Which, if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know that you had to go turn that on at some point anyways, right? So it's like, it's not that weird, I guess. It's like a little weird. These shoes are probably the worst 
possible decision here. <laughs> That's another test I could do. Do the spider egg sacs spawn infused spiderlings? Seems like a test worth testing. Little spiders. You don't even stand a chance. Take free food all day. There we go. That was Keep them coming. And have a million bars too. I'm never gonna eat them. <laughs> Where'd all the spider eggs at? Any? Oh, it does spawn. That's uh, that's actually really good. That's gonna make this easier. Come on, son. Why are you running? Okay. Right. Listen to the audio cue of this one. Why do they all seem to have explosive? <laughs> it's like the most annoying option for them to have. Get confused. I need a good spicy weapon for these. Maybe I need to get the Coltana. Out until I get the other things. Well, the Wallapino should be. Yeah, if I keep getting these sprinkles, I probably could get this pretty quick. Should have just brought the spicy weapon. Cheese the spiderlings. <laughs> Spawn them all. That's what we do. Get them all spawned. Give me more. Yep, four in infused. I like that. Can we do four, well, maybe five. We just blow them to pieces, like. Wimps, and I don't even care. Because if I get down there, they're all gonna be explosive ones, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is also when you're a wuss and you don't feel like fighting something. Spicy staff. That's what I'm telling you, they all were like the stupid <laughs> explosive ones. It's horrifying. Four explosive ones? Do I want any of this? No. I can't even fight the infected broodmother anyway. I didn't bring the recipe. Or the bait. Well, missed opportunities if I don't check these. I'm really just trying to get what weapons. And yeah, why are you all the way down there and infused? You're supposed to be up here, because I'm not going back. I feel like there's so much stuff hidden high up on the previous playthroughs, but maybe that's just the old days. And there's less now. Bye bye. Ow. Rude. I'll always take some of those. It's no lemon crime. I don't want any of that. I forgot how long this was. This is like a deep, deep, it's a long way to get over here. 
shows you how much I've been playing a story. Just build endlessly. <laughs> yeah, I see that raw science. I would take that. What else is on top? Oop, leg. Oh wow, field station. Okay, I'll get this. Oh no, I'm falling. Dang it. Oh, peace out y'all. My kid's crying, I'll be back. Alrighty, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm back. Looks like everyone left. Thanks, little Brooksy. But all good. I don't really care if anyone's watching. I'm not doing anything cool. Let's go. Give me your trinkets. Was a fail. Dang. I don't want to go all the way back around. I do like the new little animation. So it makes it feel faster, even though it's not. It's technically slower. Guess they nerfed it. I don't miss that notification, though. I'll say that much. That is a horrible notification to get all the time. Oh, I'm such a genius. No, I'm not a genius. I never finished it. <laughs> Dang it. I forgot. That went straight up to my... Oh. Well, if you don't say so, I will. Gladly take a milk molar. Uh, yeah, I built a uh, zip line up into the hedge, so I skipped like half of it. But naturally, oh, it's not unlocked. No, such a troll. What the heck, Obsidian? I thought that was always unlocked. Dang it, I'm so used to just, that's why I built all them up the top there. Dang it, I guess I could have ran around, but this is just as fast. Just hanging around, Firefly. I should probably go to bed. Get back to it in the morning. There's that one. Further, colder, colder. Mm. 
not infused, so I don't care. Weirdly enough, I do need a few of these. Go, you are relentless. Yeah, you're just Tastes like, what good. did you think was gonna happen? Do you see me? I'm the wandering wizard. Why did they all spawn now? That's so weird. None of them were spawned a minute ago. I don't even know why I'm taking these. I have so many. Meals on wheels. Daddy. Now it's glitched. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's actually really convenient. Alright, red ant damage. We are getting rid of that. Fresh damage up. Minor. Who cares? I definitely don't want major th threat. Summon thorns. Don't care. I'm okay with the rest of these. Um, oh, the duper's in the stinking hedge. What is this just full? Where are my feathers? Or flowers? It is. Dang. We got too much junk. What if I did that? I have chests up here. Why do I not have chests up here? Who designed this base? What a loser. Doesn't even put a chest up here for all of his junk. Honestly, these make way more sense up here. Same with the berries. Do I have any berries down here? Yeah, like, why am I keeping... It's fine to keep those, but like, why would I keep the other things? That's why they're not freaking used. What a random... A hedgelord? What a random thing to get. Okay. Like, I'm never going to use that. Moist. Makes you moist. Just to trigger everyone who hates that word. <laughs> Do I have any... I can't remember where all my junk is. Is it this one? Did I just lose? Use them all? I must have used them all. Sorry, this probably looks horrific for everyone. Too many chests. I can't remember where half this junk is. Alright. Can't even sleep because I am threw off the whole schedule. Okay, let's get some of these. Max health, all stay. What what else would I do? Stamina? Yeah, that makes sense. These are roughly worthless. No mega milk molars, interesting. All right, I'll do it. I did it. What do you need to build that, though? <laughs> oh, that's not that hard to make, but also is. Wait, why did I? Do I have to build the burgle eyes? <laughs> or did I just get them? Oh, I got them. <laughs> I am the hash ringing, the hash ringing, slashing, slasher. Is this thing gonna be any good? You can be smart, fast, lucky, oh, Burgle smart. Vision. <laughs> what is the point of this? This is the worst thing ever. I mean, now I just feel bad for Burgle. The dude's blind. This is horrible. Who would do this to themselves does someone does anyone actually play this game with this though okay do you hear that sound though it makes like a floppy metal sound i love that oh this update's so good so far okay i never can wear those again though this that is like killing my eyes victory feast i would honestly they need to make it so this stuff is like, it needs to tell you what Victory Feast is. That is, the, like, one of the only things that I'm not a big fan of. 
is I feel 100% that it should be slightly more obvious what a lot of these things do. Because I f honestly feel like they just don't properly reflect. Like, it doesn't do me any good if it says that and then doesn't actually, like, tell me anything about it. At least in my opinion. Oh. See, I don't want to do that, though. Dang it. Handy net, handy net. Yes, this is going to work. I should put another one. Well, now I got to go build down there. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Can I sleep yet? No. Guess we build. They took my ghost mode. Apparently it's a glitch, at least. I talked to Eric, the community manager, pinged him and asked if it was an intended glit, an intended portion of the game or not, because I was about to be pissed. If they just did, like up and removed the ghost mode of the handy net, because it is so convenient. Honestly, at this point, it's so much more convenient. So what if we did? Really? Cool, because it's freaking sticking to that. There we go. But I should. We're going to do it. Do it right. Even though I have to come up, so I don't know why I'm doing this like this anyways. Look at that. Three metal weapons. And then I can put the burgle face. Where did I put that ant scepter? I need to get that up too. I should probably do this all at once. Make it more of a stream about putting this stuff, but I could do this. Everything that needs to go up is going to be up there. It's on this side. There we go. Now go grab all this junk and add it slowly as I build each item out. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot. Well, I guess if I only use a couple weapons, it's probably not true. So I got the two ant scepters. I absolutely am taking that with me to fight more. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I could have done it. I didn't even see what this thing did. Oh, goofball. Ooh, that's gonna blow up some of them in my base. That was almost stupid. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay with this, honestly. I think I gotta try this out a little bit. It's kinda it's a staff. I'm a wizard. Does it work with little whale wizard? Grotesque staff made from the fire ant parts fires acidic goo. So it's an acid staff. That's kind of epic if it's good. If it's good, I'm in. I kind of like the animation. As stupid as it is, it's kind of great. It fits the goofiness of this game. Don't have any mighty globs. Really? I'm gonna need a lot of those. Cause you need mighty oh you don't need mighty am I a stupid I am stupid aren't I? Okay, well fifteen's enough to start. And then we put the ant things. 
So now I can go poison the red ant and poison the black ant. Um, can I sleep yet? Come on, man. There. A whole new world. Um, actually, since I skipped that. No, you stinker. <laughs> Dang it. Major threat. Summons thorns. Red ant damage. Black ant damage. Fresh damage up liner. Good. Ugh, my spicy thing doesn't matter. I can't upgrade those yet, but I should be able to make. I have to do the deduper. Dang it. Okay. After I dedupe these, then I can do it. I gotta see this thing though. In action. I wonder what it does with Whittle Wizard. What does it say on the thing, Staff Master? But there was some, or is that a hat? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. Where are you? I want to poop on you. Seems good. <laughs> I will be the acid wizard. I wonder if that actually adds like an acidic effect which increases the damage, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Duper jelly. Major threat, yes. He seems horrible. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm definitely not gonna be a summoner of any kind. I'm not bad though in like multiplayer worlds. Where you're not like the only threat, but it doesn't seem good in single player. Well I watched Jade do it. He was complaining about it a lot, but it I mean if you use all the summoning stuff, it could be an interesting build, which I haven't messed with enough to really know. Ooh, nice. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's where you get the uh, zipper. Yeah, yeah. So, that didn't really do me any good, but I'll take upgrades any day of the week. Okay, I'm gonna go kill... Um, something slightly substantial with this thing and I'm, I'm interested to see if this is any good because it could be really doo-doo real real bad is this the right enemy to fight against probably not I love it's not a lot of damage Not horrible. That was a lot of shots, but I mean, for New Game Plus, and this is not upgraded that far, that's not bad. The thing is, like, what kind of damage is it doing? Fires acidic goo? Like, what kind of damage does that do, though, is the question. That's what I need to know. Nothing's. Is it just acidic? Yeah, let's kill this guy. Weird aim. <laughs> it's kind of fun to use, I will be honest. It's interesting. It looks, as, as stated, it's, I mean, it's a fire ant butt. So, like, it's kind of gross, but. Sorry, texting my wife.
Okay, so we can build. Can I make oh yes. Legitness. I still need two D duper things though. Oh, I wanted to do this, dang it. Probably a waste. There's no way it's a good weapon. <laughs> but I'm a wizard. Larry? Final Aftershock? I don't know what that is, but I want it. Finale Parry? Intro. Or Finale Parry work. Finale Intro Aftershock. I don't get it. But I like them. Okay, we're 100% putting our staff. Oh, not that one. This is going away. Um, sturdy court side. You, who would even want to play with that disgustingness? Where's my food? Literally full. Holy cow. Okay, I'll just eat those. This looks friggin' epic. Um, I'm gonna have to rework this. How do I wanna do this? Four. Use all the buttons on, buttons on my mouse. Um, what is up, DJ MC? Uh, so far, I'm absolutely in love with this update. It is really, really fun for me. Um, I'm kind of crazy. If you uh, don't know me from YouTube or previous Grounded stuff, I mega build. And so I've been looking for this experience, a way to continue this world and like have a reason to keep playing. I'm literally, I've got, uh, so that's my base. One of my bases. I have another massive base over in the sandbox too. But I have been, I have everything in the game. The only thing I don't have is all of the achievements because I play on a custom world now to get the ability to use this handy net uh, for mega building just because it's easier. But, uh, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. It's been a lot of fun building it. Kind of has turned out to like the perfect base. Like it's got every item in it. It's got more space. I got an armory and stuff, which I'm going to be working on soon, adding more of the new weapons and like the ant queen armors and stuff. Some of these are duplicates and weird builds that like just show off weird armor pieces and stuff. So probably be replacing those, but I got crazy armory, crazy uh, ga art gallery with everything. Once I get to the next new game plus, I'm going to build, remove all of this teleport or, uh, zipline crap and make this into like a teleporter kind of area i'm not totally sure how that's going to work yet but i think it'll be really fun but honestly this update for me is really fun i think there's going to be a lot of people that complain about all of the grinding because it's it's a lot and there's a lot of new stuff to get but i think the whole point of doing this update was that like if you truly love the game, it's everything you could hope for so far. Of course, I would have preferred if they added like some more building pieces, like a new material or something, like plastic or like they've got the uh, up on the table, on the picnic table, they've got like the plastic castle piece, like something like that would have been really cool. Uh, I would have really enjoyed some more building pieces. I'm okay with the fact that they didn't because the content is and just like endlessness of it is going to be really fun. Um, I haven't fought any bosses yet, so it might regret that I uh, regret that I like it hard, but yeah. And like just getting to replay, like I've been wanting to replay uh, another playthrough for ages. But I c just couldn't bring myself to leave this world because I'm so obsessed with the bases I've built. And like, I have no interest in just playing just the story. Like, building bases, for me, is what makes the game really fun and enjoyable. Um, so, like, this base is epic and fun. And my other base is even more ridiculous. 
but bring, getting to bring these into new game plus is like the most fun thing so far like the story is so amazing like the only issue i have ever had with this game is that there wasn't a way to keep playing it and like once you got like i think i got the last gold card like two or three weeks ago which is crazy considering i'm at like 14 1500 days like i just got the last gold card and i got the last gold card and had this like i don't know what to do anymore like i need that goal and something to grind towards which makes building bases fun because there's something you use them for and then like then they started announcing all this stuff for the new game plus and 1.4 update and it's really good so far it's really fun to be able to speed run the story over and over again and then if I get bored of the story, now I can go build for a little while, and then once I get bored of building, I can just restart and make the game harder and remix things, change things up. Like, pretty much, I know a lot of people aren't going to get past New Game, like, 2, even if they get past New Game plus 1. Um, but for the people that are hardcore Grounded fans, it's, it's a really good update so far. Plenty of things that I'd fix, probably. I mean, I'm not that far in, so there's a lot, but... So far, I, don't, I haven't had like any major complaints. Like the infused bugs give so much raw science that it's the prices aren't really that bad. I've like Jade, um, Jade PG was complaining earlier on stream that everything costs too much, and I'm like, I, he just should have collected more. I had like seventy thousand, and I bought all the good stuff already, and I'm. Getting, I got 50,000 in the last like 20 minutes for raw science. So it's really not that hard to get raw science. Um, this is my sandcastle base. That is like a King's Landing style mega base. Just kind of roughly based off the idea of it, but I'll have similar building buildings as the King's Landing thing, using it as a rough idea to base the whole thing off of. But I've been having... This build has been super fun. It is really cool. And there's so much going on, and I have so many more ideas that are, like, I think going to blow people's mind. Like, I'm building, going to build a cathedral over there, and it, that's going to be epic. That's going to look so cool. I have a lot of it kind of figured out in my head from just playing with stuff. This tower turned out super cool. Had a lot of fun messing with everything. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I haven't been posting videos or anything. Just busy. I had a kid. That's now he's a year old. But the last six months and stuff, I've been super busy, and so I've just been recording a little bit here and there. Um, like I recorded building this whole church sort of thing. Um, so I might make it like a speed build video of it or something if it's not too boring. But. I haven't quite finished it. Once I get all the lighting in, I think it's going to look even cooler. But it turned out really interesting. Yeah, right? Then you definitely understand it. It's uh, It's been an amazing year so far, but man, I have never been more busy in my entire life. <laughs> Luckily, I work from home, so it makes life pretty easy uh, in terms of having a kid. But man, the the busy life that it brings makes it I got really into the grounded when my wife was pregnant and so we literally did nothing for like nine months straight and so it uh was a uh interesting transition going from doing literally nothing to like non-stop go 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 all the time I'm burning up. but it's been a lot of fun he's a great little kid he's teething right now so that's also been a bit of a nightmare Um, I think, go do the hedge, so I was working on the hedge lab earlier, and I, uh, fell down and got distracted doing everything but the hedge lab. I love the new little animations and stuff, too. Oh yeah, that, that has literally been the fastest year of my life, hands down. <laughs> is ridiculous and he just started crawling like three weeks ago and so he's turned into this like little psychopath that's just the funniest thing he's so funny to watch 
cracks me up crawling around being a psycho chasing we have two dogs we have like a hundred pound bernice mountain dog that's absolutely horrified of the one-year-old so i get a kick out of that when he's chasing him around the house and he'll be walking in no time actually i was gonna take my shortcut but i think it's gonna be longer to get back to the base than it is to just run and do it the right way And I have so many bug parts that I don't think I'm going to fight anything unless it's infused or it's have to. <laughs> Speed running. Go, go, go. Yeah, glad to hear you're, uh, you're enjoying the whole update so far because... Definitely like hearing that people are enjoying it and finding it as fun as I am because I'm probably this gives me like endless ability and a purpose to Just keep building and doing ridiculous grounded stuff And it's gonna bring at least the hope that it brings a lot new a lot more viewership back to the game Because honestly, that's the, one of the big reasons I stopped posting videos was just because the editing and everything took so much time and effort especially with having a kid that I couldn't quite justify being a uh, a YouTuber that made no money and spent endless hours editing and playing on top of that because these builds do take a lot of time. I'm not the... Uh, I build really cool, interesting stuff, but I'm definitely not the fastest builder in the world. I tend to just build as I go and have fun with it. Nice. Funny enough, I didn't start playing till 1.0, but the second I played, started, it, I was hooked. Like, could never go back. Act to this point, probably the most game played game I've ever played. I think I have 2,000 hours. That's take that with a grain of salt, because the uh, whatever the. Uh, Steam, I don't think properly tracks it because I leave the game open a lot out of laziness and like go do things with it open for hours and hours. Um, so that's probably oh no, <laughs> dang it! And I ran out of dandelions, that's a bummer. And I forgot to build that thing again, dang it! What a nerd! Oh, I need to try these weapons out, I haven't used them yet. I gotta cook that, right? Yeah. I don't need it, but... Okay. It's time to go to my shortcut. Luckily, for the, that exact reason, and to get to the Broodmother faster, I built a zip line that goes straight to it, so I don't have to run all the way back. But, I keep forgetting to grab six silk rope and make it so I can get back up if I fall from right there. So I'll just grab the rope real quick and finish that and do it right. And I think I'm going to be doing this a lot if I keep going through new game pluses. I'm going to have to go to the Broodmother quite a bit. I think with the Wallapino, though, what did I get this upgraded to? Six? I might be able to take on the Broodmother. I'm just playing on a uh, medium, so it's not like crazy hard. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, honestly, just getting grounded two is enough for me. I don't even care what happens in it at all. As long as it's grounded two, I'm in. I will do whatever they want. Uh, let's just take. Well, okay, screw it. Let's just take it all. But I have to assume. I mean, I know it was PC and Xbox, but a lot of PC players and Xbox players are gonna come back for a little while. I have a feeling a lot of people won't play as endlessly as I will, but it will create at least the opportunity to play endlessly. So I'm, I'm hoping that the PlayStation and Switch players are even a fraction 
the amount of players PC and Xbox were and that'll be enough viewership for me honestly for a while there's so much content and stuff to play through for people that are new I still have like some tutorial videos that I want to make that I think would help a lot of people and do well like my uh, lint video that's a precarious spot for a milk molar oh an infused mosquito and I have a fresh weapon. Oh, no. Again. What a bummer. That is so lame. Wow. Fails. That's what I get for not testing it. I hate mosquitoes. Why do they even exist? Ow. Not nice. I guess I'm fighting this one like it's a normal one. I wonder what weapon type this counts as. Oh, that's not fair. You're supposed to fall down. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that's such a bummer. Dude, I'm killing myself here. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Can't believe that that stupid zipline did that. All right, we fixed one problem. That's one I can now not fall to my death constantly. Dang. What great content. Everyone wants to watch me fall to my death every five seconds because I'm stupid. <laughs> I should have just ran up. I don't know why I'm going all the way back to the base, but I guess it is what it is now. I'm already halfway there. I'd say I'm already halfway there. I don't know why he didn't attack me, but I'll take it. Why do I feel so slow? Does anyone know? I guess. Does it say slashing? Does that count as a blade, though? I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce your name, uh, Rasu, but it it is such a like slow process. Like, I know it seems like this like epically massive base that I just built, but like for so so freaking long, this base was just the walls, and like I was just building slowly as I went, like. A lot of this like this whole upgraded space was so simple when I started out it was just this and a couple chests next to it like start simple and then slowly as you go work on updating things adding more detail I always try to take it as a little bit of a challenge to uh, put everything in the game in my base that tends to help um, kind of give a reason to why and like make the spaces so like like all of these like these don't have a ton of reason but oh, nice good to know gj does it work with parry mat or uh blade master then because if i can use blade master that's actually really good Here we go. i hope so that'd be really good um but like I made a space specifically. That's good. I'm gonna do that more often. I need more mutation slots, dang. Um, but yeah, like make a space for every type of thing in the game, like a museum space, and just slowly, all of this stuff, just slowly, slowly over. I mean, I've been playing this for 19,000 hours, so. Like all of this stuff starts really simple, simple boxes, empty spaces on the inside, and then you just little by little add more and more till it sort of starts to crazy, get crazy and be here. Um, it gets to this level eventually, but I think, I mean, you can watch on my YouTube just between the last Pagoda base that I uh, uploaded a video on and the original tour I did on my channel. And then also you can see a a beginning part on see-throughs channel um so much of this has changed like 
adding in the Harry Potter like pet barn thing like that was a big detail and all a lot of this stuff I added details little by little as I went to like it just started as an empty space and little things happened same like I made spaces from other things from building a walkway so it turned into like a grotto like you just find spaces to use I tend to build um, on more interesting places I think that helps a lot too I think too many people pe think like oh build on the brawny bin, boy bin just because it's flat and it's easy but it tends to make builds a lot more difficult because there's nothing to like work with like this base I didn't have to come up with the shape of the pagoda like it was already here like the walls it's just matching it's complicated because my base is built off grid um, so that part of this base is ridiculous but at the same time like it's just the pagoda's walls rebuilt and then slowly adding details to each little bit like especially like this was it was just a mushroom square and then slowly i just added little things and they really come together if you use kind of the idea of using iterations and nothing's ever finished especially with new game plus now like you can kind of endlessly upgrade and change and as you farm more materials and you figure out how to use them i think that helps a lot just like building things in general um and learning the different mechanics it makes a huge difference because it's it's daunting when you start but once you learn like how the different materials and pieces can work together in like interesting ways uh it makes it a lot easier to kind of do the whole god i have way too many okay makes it a lot easier to d design stuff um if you just take it little by little I think more people would be better at building if they gave themselves a little grace. And because these these bases did not start off as these epic, fun, like crazy builds. Like they all start off as a box. And then I just slowly add detail over and over again to them. And I'm hoping on the channel to do. Um, I already talked to a buddy of mine that is a crazy grounded builder but i will be doing base tours on my channel for people that have cool bases and have things they want to show off they definitely don't have to be as ridiculous i'm like these are like top one percent builds for people that spend way too much time playing this game like i do then there's there's only a few people that are quite as crazy as i am with grounded and building but anyone that's got cool stuff i'd love to show it off so even if you don't have something now but maybe down the road you build something out like all you have to do is reach out to me on Discord, and I'm happy to do base tours. I think that's why I'm streaming and doing content creation. So yeah, yeah, uh, DJ, if you've got a base tour, a base that you'd like to show off, just hit up my uh, my Discord. Definitely happy to show things off. I think it makes takes a lot of time and effort to build and I'd love for people to be able to show them off because it feels way more satisfying to have like the world see all your stuff like my video from see throughs channel has 160,000 views at this point which is like insane to me that so many people have like seen this video this base Yeah, and I mean, like, um, sorry, I'm going to but butcher your name again, but Rasao, um, I started with a grass box, too. Like, every base, unless you have some ridiculous plan, which I don't think, I don't think many people do, uh, every base starts as a little box. And all you have to do to get into, like, cooler bases is just start building bigger boxes, and then add a little bit more detail to your bigger box and then use some different materials and it's really uh easier than you think it is it's just time consuming is all i'm excited to get past some more of this story so i can uh start building again because that's really what i'm excited about and what i want to stream Sounds good, Corey. <laughs> if I heard you say it, it probably wouldn't be a problem at all. I probably wouldn't have any issue uh, pronouncing it, but <laughs> we, 
without hearing what it is. I'm just going to butcher it and sound like a dick. So I appreciate that. So I, I as like just starting streaming and stuff, I've always wondered like how people deal with not knowing what someone's name is or all the guessing. <laughs> Definitely an interesting one to tackle. <laughs> well, at least I'm not alone. I'll take that. What? Are you inside or outside? Inside, okay. Excuse me. Let's see if I can not fall to my death. We did it. Um, that's not the weapon I want. Ooh, I don't want that either. Oh, jeez. Nope. That's a lot. What does that effect even do? Is it hitting all of them? Is that AoE? Oh my god. The freaking explosion spider wings are crazy. get all the battle axes and all the different materials. Yeah, I, I, I agree, DJ. I think building, like utilizing different parts of the map to give you a head start, like same, same concept that I used for the Pagoda base. It makes it a lot easier to kind of start with a frame of reference. Is that just a broken molar that you can't actually get? Weird. Uh oh. Hi. Yeah, Corey, it's it's really fun so far. For anyone that's like a hardcore grounded person that just wants nothing more than to keep playing the game, it's so far, it's perfect. I have no complaints. I think the only thing that I can legitimately complain about is that there's a couple like glitches and stuff, which without a public test stream, I fully expected. And I get why they didn't do it um, to make, because honestly, so far, like I had to mute all of the Discord stuff on the grounded Discord because everyone's just spamming spoilers and it's really annoying. And so I was like, I can understand why they decided to not do a public test and just kind of keep everything hush-hush for a little. Because everyone on the grounded thing is just either asking the same ridiculous question because they're too lazy to read anything or <laughs> spoiling it for everyone. Oh, that's cheating. The wizard build's just the best. It really is. It's not, but I love it. No, I want the bandages. Good, I need more de-duper. Bring it. That's a piece, barely. Where's he at? I don't know. Who needs to parry when you can just face tank everything? Oh, interesting. Is that like a waft emitter raid? Is that what you're saying? I haven't done any emitter raids. I guess I also have the faction raids turned off in this world because my bases just are too big. <laughs> I tried it, I played on it with raids, and then they added the wasps, and it ruined so much of that pagoda base that I just decided uh, I was turning them off, and I was not going back. Because it was not fun. Totally understand it for like the majority of people. 
wasn't that bad when you don't have mega bases. But with mega bases, uh, ooh, yeah, I had the mosquitoes too. But the uh, the wasps are just more ridiculous mosquitoes. <laughs> But the mosquitoes were a major problem too. They made it pretty impossible to successfully uh, deal with anything in the raids. They, it was not not a fun time. And I thought so many people. I talked to a bunch of people that. We're also doing grounded videos and stuff, and I'm like, I'll bite the bullet and be the person that turns on the handy nat for everyone and shows, like, legit builders use the handy nat and it's not lame. Because too many people were getting annoying about it. That's the one I just got, dang. And the handy nat's epic, except that's one of the glitches that actually annoys me. Um, is that they, uh... Got rid of the ghost mode on accident. I did confirm that the ghost mode not being an option is a glitch. So at least I know it's supposed to come back. But I tried using it earlier and I was like so disappointed. Because I love being able to fly through my bases and not have to think. <laughs> or through the world and see all the cool stuff that they've added. I don't remember how this opens. Dang it. I want that. Oh, am I missing one? Oh. Or is that a glitch? I don't remember. Someone was complaining that the password wasn't working, but I don't remember how many there are. Yeah, and I did that. Honestly, what really changed it for me was the uh, the sandbox build. Uh, just it got to the point where I was so high up, I was starting to work on the third tier, and I just was like, I I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to keep like falling to my death endlessly. Yeah. It kind of ruined the fun. And I had to like produce the amount of videos that I wanted to produce. I kind of just had to like decide that it was worth using it. It does make building like I can't, I couldn't build as many epic things without it, anyways. Like it's it's allowed me to build some of the coolest bases ever, and it speeds up the process, which just makes it way more fun. <laughs> It definitely was ruining the fun of building in general when you constantly had to like <laughs> deal with BS, falling to your death. Not it just wasn't an enjoyable time. Okay, am I like crazy? What am I? Which password am I missing? Oh jeez. Best place to build. I mean, personally, I always say the Pagoda, but that's just because I really... Oh, no. Don't do that. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I really like having the Science Station, and it also is completely... Oh, my gosh. I suck. Um, it's completely safe from every raid except for flying raids. So... Just for that reason, I think for a lot of players is really good. Um, being safe from raids means it just like eliminates the issue for people that struggle with that. It also any base that has a science like I think you have to have whoa. Hello. I think you have to have a field station somewhere near your base to be. It's just a waste, like, not having one close. So that's part of the reason the Pagoda base is. The only thing I'd say is, like, 
really bad places to build is probably a better answer. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Salt damage. Oh, that's actually really good with this. Invincible attack and max health. That's really good. Whoa. And he wasn't even infused. Weird. This new update's epic. But honestly, the Pagoda base takes a lot of effort to get started. Um, but it's like the best place to build. Yeah, and having, yeah, and I also like anything that's close to the oak tree is is a really good starting spot. Because you early on you spend your entire time there. And then now that uh, New Game Plus is a thing, you're going to spend even more time on top of that. Yeah, the, uh, if you like tree houses, DJ's 100% correct. The, uh garden edge and stuff the like wooden posts i've seen some really really cool um bases there like tree house bases so that's definitely worth looking at at least and kind of forces you to build um with what's given to you which i also think helps sort of force the design of the building because i mean for people that aren't we like I was I have an I'm an architect uh or at least I was an architect I'm not any longer but worked for an architecture firm so I love design I love building so it like it fits really well with my thought process and just the way I do things but for people that don't necessarily have that same mindset that I do um it makes it a lot easier building on a place that has something going on just flat places like everyone's so obsessed with the brawny bin and stuff and i'm like flat bases flat open spaces are the hardest things to build on because there's nothing like forcing like the design of it to be something so you're just like designing out of complete there's nothing helping you design during the process whereas like the pagoda forced me to build with a certain shape and so it like eliminates some of the decision making, which I think is what stops a lot of people from building crazy bases is like, it just gets too overwhelming to just like start, um, which is a lot of design in general. Um, and so by starting at a space that has some type of already built structure, it does make it a lot easier to start the design process. Dude, again? I'm so bad. Can I recover? Maybe. Oh my gosh, I did it. Don't speak too soon. Is the last password up there? Is that where it is? In the, uh, oh my gosh, I keep running out of dandelions too. Yeah, exactly. Too much open space just makes decisions. It's like you get analysis paralysis. Like you just don't know what to do, where to start. It's just, it's too blank of a canvas, in my opinion, which never leads to good design. I like reacting to what's going on around. Same with the sandcastle is sort of the same concept. Like I literally built over the sandcastle. And so like it forced me to work with the shape that the sandcastle's in, which helped at least inform some decisions. Oh my gosh. Where am I going? I also fully plan, oh no, oh no. Dude, I am garbage. <laughs> Why don't I have dandelion tufts? I've never run out of dandelion tufts this many times. I think I'm just gonna go farm some. I'm tired of falling to my death for no reason. Okay, cool. Also like the brawny bin, any place that like makes bringing materials to you easier is a win in terms of base building like 
The pagoda base has more, a lot more resources than most people would think. And I also, I don't personally use much grass. I think the uh, mushroom brick and stuff is a lot easier to work with. Specifically because you don't have to bring it up to a certain spot with you. So those are some of the mindsets I have towards building. I swear there was another one. I'm blind. Is eight enough? Maybe. I think a lot of people build on like the baseball and stuff. Anything around the mysterious machine is also pretty good. There's like one wolf spider that can mess with you there. But in all honesty, if you want to like start somewhere, just build inside the pagoda and you'll be safe from everything. You just have to build one little bridge. Yeah, DJ, definitely do. I'd love to do a base tour, man. Have a good rest of your night. And the hedge is uh, definitely a horrible. This is exactly what it felt like the first time I did it, where it was just me and... Honestly, it would have made a great comedy video because we were all idiots just falling. It was pitch black. Like, <laughs> we looked like a bunch of idiots. Oh, it would have been so good to have it recorded. And we were all yelling at each other because every time we'd get close to finishing, someone would fall off and die, and then we'd have to run back and revive them. And <laughs> it was an endless mess. But in the best kind of video game way. be really nice if I could just find this last password. I don't know what I'm doing. Should probably... Oh my gosh. I should stop running. That's half of my problem. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your night, Corey. Feel free to stop in. I should be streaming a little bit more here and there. Hoping, especially with the new update, to at least start streaming on a semi-regular basis. Oh, no. There it is. I knew what I was doing. Okay. We did it. And always feel free to join my Discord if uh, you ever want to ask questions, send images and stuff. I'm more than happy to help with base ideas and different designs and stuff. I've helped a lot of people do stuff already over there. So definitely give it a check. Or give it a check. Uh, definitely check it out. There we go. Naturally, I figure it out right as everyone's leaving. What a goober. <laughs> nice. Dude, this thing is good. Like, this is really good. That's really interesting. Actually, just go. get me out of here. I'm done with this sucker. Oh, this is open now, of course. Now I can do all of that. I would have made life easier. Holy cow, 10.30. Time flies when you're having fun. get further. I just want to make a build. I'm going to go work on the sandcastle soon, but I want to get further. I'm going to get these weapons and stuff.
probably should get off soon now. But that sounds so lame. Dude, these are so cool. Such a good freaking update, man. Like, th this is so cool. That's such a cool trinket. Max health, invincible attack. I don't even know what that means. And salt damage up when I use a salty club of the mother demon, which seems epic. This thing's freaking sick, too. Maybe I get rid of... Honestly. Dump this. Let's make a Blade Master one. Yolt. Uh, it's not Apex Predator. Do I want that? I'm going to use it here. Corporate Kickbacks. Hyper Stamina. Duh. Absolutely Hyper Stamina. None of that seems great. I guess this works. Corporate kickback. I guess I can switch corporate kickback for something else if needed. But honestly, doesn't seem like I need it. I like I like it. So that's B. Got wizard build. That seems good enough. I don't know. I wish there was a better option than that. I guess that's what I'd be using otherwise. Yeah, these all work. Whatever. Uh, to bear. Oh wait, I should. Uh, what else did I get? Salt damage up minor garbage plus hunger rate. Nope. Mm, poison resist. Probably not good enough. Actually, I'm gonna go poison. Poison or infect. I think we poison the red ant queen real fast too. While we're at it. Get some more D duper. I don't know if I want to fight the Broodmother tonight with no viewers, hardly. Since everyone else went to bed, I might do this poison the Ant Queen and call it. Sounds like a. I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, poison resist. D deep. Garbage. I mean, you can make a trinket for literally every situation now, honestly. Like, I want a quickness one. How cool would a speed drop it with the quickness, but then add some other attributes to it? That would be really epic. I would use that for everything, because I absolutely prefer to go as fast as possible. can't even stand running as slow as the game does anymore. It's kind of miserable running at slow speeds. Like I struggle using standard armors in the game because they're so slow. You can't dodge anything. Like I hardly get hit using this because it's so easy to just run away. Let me turn my light back on. All right, that's not as dark. <laughs> That's much better. Put myself to sleep. De dupa. Oh, yes. We're so close. To the duper. Just like a fruit pounder. Honestly, I don't. Uh, if I fight the brood mother, though, I don't want that. Let's go to the ant this way, though. Ah, I should just do it, but I don't want to. Yeah, no one's watching. 
which is all good, but I don't want to beat that without viewers. Let's go poison the ant. Get these parts, scan some stuff, get a little further, and then call it. I like that. Especially because this goes right over the red ant hill. Sandbox looks so weird blue. It's really throwing me off. I'm gonna cover the whole thing either way, so I don't really care. What a catch. Ooh, I need dandelions. Really bad. I need to switch that back. Oh, get out of here. Let me go. Let me go. What's that? Good night. God, I keep doing that. I need to. Go to sleep. I used to be so much better at that sleeping, so I'm not running around in the pitch black. Really? Oh, you stinkers. Gosh. How annoying. Where'd the other ones go? Oh, no. Let me got those. Let's take it. The angry ant over there. He's going to be real angry when I poison his mother. So don't tell him. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. They ain't gonna be in rush hour three. <laughs> See, oh, I want you though. Oh my gosh. Some good stuff though. Okay. Oh no, where's my torch? I have to rework all of my hot bars, man. Changed them all like an idiot, and I regret it. I regret it. I do. I'm sorry. It's weird. Oh, hello. Off because I was here earlier. Rotten bee. Oh, that respawns? That's weird. I didn't know that. A rotten stuff respawns. That's really cool. I can get a second one now. Okay. Did I grab? Okay. Poison. Just the poison. And poison. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But I need your body parts. I wonder if loot luck. Maybe I should run loot luck for an eye for a while. Yeah. I don't think that's a bad idea. That was so hard to watch. I feel horrible. Like, so bad. Oh, I hated that. I can't do that. I gotta bef I wanna befriend them. It's 
so worth it though. Holy cow, what? I mean, yeah, it's just brittle, but I have so much stuff to upgrade. This is super worth it. Why are you just sitting on a gold mine? You should have just moved, Mrs. Ant Queen. I would have let you live. But I needed your body parts for my experiments. Nice. Let's go. So now I'll be able to build the armors. So I can start working on it, getting my base a little upgraded. I don't want any trouble, Ant. Stop running away, you turd! Really? They're so fast. What? Dude, you have to have a stun weapon. That dude was zooming. Holy. This is not the Blade Master. Oh my gosh, no! Stop running! Where the heck did he go? it and then I'm out of here for the night why yeah I need to change all these around I mess with these adding these new weapons and it's messing with my brain too used to my hot buttons on my mouse it lets a terror spot it Ooh, he's a splody boy. They're just all splody ones. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I can just analyze here. Let's go. Why not? All right, red strategist. What else do we get? The legs? Oh, legs and that and stuff. To, man, sick. So cool. Well, now I can uh, start upgrading my armory and stuff, which I'm excited about. Probably do some of that. Maybe tomorrow would be a good plan. I think I like the idea of poisoning. I just have the fire ant lab and then poisoning the uh, ant queen, so. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna get off here in a minute, though. So I'll be down in a few. Yeah, I think uh, fire ant hill. I still have the brawny boy bin. I have a lot of random stuff to do. I didn't realize how much stuff they were going to have to do. It kind of seemed like it was just the labs and then you were done, but it's actually quite a bit more than that, it seems like. Yeah, get those upgraded. Get the base up top. Kind of rebuilt. I like that. I think that's going to be an epic stream for tomorrow. It'll be fun. Fire Ant Hill is the last Burgle chip, and then the Brawny Boy Ben and getting the other auxiliary chips, I think, is going to be a good time. Beat the Brood Mother tomorrow for sure. I definitely want to get this yoking station so I can uh, get the other stuff going, because I can't build it without that. 
Oh yeah, let's check this. That's the good one. Don't know what that does. That might be kind of good. Plus perfect block. I definitely don't want that though. All immunity plus orb weaver damage. Interesting. This is an epic thing. I'm really glad I got this. Like I'm this is gonna be really good against the uh major salt damage plus health and then whatever an invincible attack is maybe that's like the third attack like oh that probably means that my weapon does not because it's got a band-aid probably like you don't lose weapon damage which epic really good this whole thing seems epic to me plus health and salt damage for my salt build seems really good quite happy with that as an item Get those I'll leave that not over so I remember them tomorrow yeah then we'll get the black ant stuff the fire ant stuff I think that's good all right y'all I'm gonna call it there everyone uh, have a good night thanks for hanging out and chilling and I'll uh, hopefully be back tomorrow or if not the next day and try to stream maybe two to three times a week and get some building done. So look forward to it. All right, peace out.